today i'm going to show you how to flash your windows operating system with the uh, ubuntu so i have been stuck with a problem something like file system error like grub so you can see i can see two bootable things here one is my windows boot manager and one is my pen drive which i have plugged in but uh, this was very old trick actually i tried uh, it was when i'm trying to boot from my pen drive you can see there is an error showing like this it says something uh, um it's gnu grb version 2.0 error this is very simple to fix actually when you purchase a new laptop it may be dell or lenovo anything that comes with an uefi mode installed uh, in it so you need to change it to legacy or turn off the uefi mode so i'm going to show you how to do that this is dell laptop uh, so i'm gonna press ctrl alt delete so this is gonna go back so just press f12 as usual so i'm pressing f12 yeah so you just need to come down and change the bio setting and press enter so it, it shows you turn off the uafi there are two options here uafi boot mode and secure boot mode so you just need to turn off the uafi boot mode click on this so do you wish to continue yes final confirmation it shows some error in a warning message you can ignore this depending on your own risk uh, risks so i'm gonna apply change for this yep so it's happening something so again it lo it uh, restarts so you need to again press f12 as usual so this appears so you can see in the legacy you have this plenty of uh, boards so one is usb device and internal hard disk this will directly boot your windows operating system and here is your usb here you can see windows boot manager and this so don't boot from this i just suggest you guys to boot from usg storage device like this yeah so it has started surprisingly actually people are trying to find code uh, grub codes and trying to fix this problem but this was very old trick uh, i used to do in uh, previous computers when uh, i purchased a new desktop and that worked well for me so i hope it helps you guys too so you just need to turn it off from uefi mode and just keep going i hope you understood what i'm trying to say so i hope i hope uh, i think it helps you guys so this is my second time actually i'm doing it so it worked fine so i just wanted to know you guys if you're facing this kind of issues thank you thank you very much for watching <laughs>